Well folks, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's going on about two months now just because there really hasn't been a whole lot going on around here worth taking a video of and been busy with work and repair work here in the garage and everything. So, But anyways, this morning I just picked up some equipment from down the street. There was a barn getting cleaned out in the house and it had some pieces of equipment in it, older stuff from around the 50s or so. And as you can see here, we have a cast iron Briggs and Stratton engine. It has a 6 to 1 gear reduction hub on it. And it's mounted on a Planet Junior walk behind tractor. And if I'm not mistaken, from what I could find online, this is a B series. It's actually pretty cool. So I picked this up for 100 bucks. I got the tractor. And I also got all the tines and the harrows and the discs whatever else you want to call them out here so that's the rest of it I got to put together at some point and he also threw in this really weird looking tiller also with the lot which I think is going to get parted out it's just got a, an old cast iron Briggs on it and I thought the handlebars were kind of cool because they had wooden handle grips on them but anyways but as for this Planet Junior they've been inside for a long time in the barn this actually still has a little bit of gas left in the tank. And I scraped off the tag here. I don't know if the camera is going to focus or not, but the serial number is 180279. So if there's any of you out there who have dealt with these Planet Juniors and can maybe give me an estimate on the year, I'd really appreciate it. I'm guessing early 50s, mid 50s or something like that, judging by the engine. So the engine does roll over. It does have compression tires are still holding air from this morning when I fill them up and everything so I'm gonna be doing a repair and startup video on this so anyways starting with the engine by taking apart the carburetor and seeing how that looks inside that and draining out the gas all right I got everything disconnected but the two manifold bolts here for the intake and then the governor spring and everything in the back and this should come right off It actually looks looks pretty clean inside so hopefully we can open this up and it looks like that and then I won't have to blast it out if so I'll just throw it in the glass bead blaster and clean it out real quick all right I got the carburetor and everything all apart and I can't complain too much about the inside of it it just has some light corrosion from moisture and that'll clean up really nice with the glass bead blaster so I'll run these the top and the bottom through the blasting cabinet and clean those up and the main jet that's all clear and everything nothing clogging the holes I'm gonna have to make another gasket for the main needle valve on the bottom because it pulled out and it was actually stuck to the body on the bottom so I got some leather I can make a new one of those out of float looks like it's still in good shape and I've got another gasket I can put into it so I'll get those ready so I'll run this through the bead blaster get that cleaned up and we can put it back together before I put the carburetor back on, I remembered that I have to pull the shroud off in the gas tank so that way I can clean up the points underneath the flywheel. So I got that pulled off, clean up the points, and hopefully the camera will pick this up, but we do have spark. So it's a nice white hot spark and you can hear it snapping, so got that all back together. I got the gas tank drying out there because it still had a little bit of old gas in it. Then I can get that put back on in the carburetor. And I took the belt off of the engine and everything. So I know I have to fill up the crankcase because I don't think it has any oil left in it. And then we can see if it'll fire up.
Well, it wasn't bad for a first start. Not smoking or anything, and just needs a little bit of carburetor adjustment and see if we can keep it at a good idle. But other than that, not too bad. Three poles. All right. Well, I got the engine to stay running and everything, and that's all squared away. I got the air cleaner back on there with the elbow and everything. Runs really nice now. Idles, throttles up, and everything good. Governor works nice. So I got the back side of this all back together, the cultivator half. And I got that all on there. The only thing I had to do was I had to re-weld one of the coulter wheels right there, the bracket. Because these pieces don't go that far underneath here, so it's not a really good overlap to weld to. And you can see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this one's been welded before. It's got a ton of weld built up on it. And this side also has the nice, the sprung lever to adjust your wheel up and down, and this side's missing it, it's got a bolt in it, so it'd be kind of nice to find one of those at some point. I also found a better belt for it that wasn't as tight, so now it'll slip and I can start it somewhat without it taking off on me. And I also pulled apart the hubs. Um, inside there and inside there are three drive pawls, and you can hear them clicking when I roll this, maybe. And they weren't locking up when I first drove this around. Now, when you pull it back, you can see everything spinning, so everything locks up. And I greased all the shafts and everything like that. I have to oil the chain still, but I'll get to that. Gearbox is full of oil on the gear reduction unit, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do to it for now. I'll probably send it up on the hill for winter, and then maybe in the springtime I can pull it out and try turning a little bit of the garden under with it, or just running it through to see how it does. But anyways, I'm going to fire it up and we'll drive it up the hill to where I'm going to keep it. Alright, so we made it all the way up the hill and probably end up maybe finding room for it in the Quonset or something, stuffing it up to the back. Well, we'll see. But anyways, folks, there you have it. That's the repair and startup of the Planet Junior Model B walk-behind tractor.